Hello, welcome to my channel, Homemade Mathematics. Today, I am gonna be showing you how to use the compound interest formula. So I have our equation here on the screen. I'm gonna kinda of go through what each of these things stand for. Um, starting with P, that is gonna be your principal or the money. So the amount of loan you took out, um, the amount that you have in a bank making interest. Um, principal is gonna be the amount of money you're putting in. All right, I also fixed my equation here because on top there should be an R and that is standing for your rate or your interest rate and this needs to be as a decimal. Um, so you'll see later when we do an example problem, if they tell us it's 6%, you'd have to convert that into a decimal, so 0 0.06. So R is the interest rate. All right, then we have our N in two different places. And that is going to stand for the number of times compounded in a year or whatever time period you're going off of. Typically, it's going to be times in a year. So how many times is it compounded in a year? And then T is standing for time. And like I said, typically that is going to be in years. Um, but again, it could be by months or some other time period. And then that whole equation is gonna get us A, which is just our total. So our principal plus the interest, all of that, is, it's gonna get us that whole thing. If we wanted to figure out how much of that was just interest, we'd then have to subtract off that principal that we started with, and that could get us the amount in interest that was occurred. Let's take a look at an example and see how we can use this equation to solve. All right, so if you have a five-year loan for $80,000 at 5.5% interest compounded quarterly, and then we want to find the total amount of money we would end up paying on that. So how we would do this is we first want to start with P, our principal, which it says our money is $80,000. Right, then we want our interest rate, which is 5.5%. But remember, we talked about we have to make that as a decimal. So we can't just put 5.5. To turn a percent into a decimal, we'd have to divide by 100. So move it back two spots, which would make it 0 0.055. And then we have to divide that by the number of times compounded per year, which it tells us they're being compounded quarterly. So that means four times a year. And then we're gonna raise that to the power of, it says quarterly, so again, we have N is four, and then T is standing for our years, which it says it's a five-year loan. So four times five, our exponent would become 20. Now you have your equation set up and you can just type it into your calculator. Um, how I would suggest if you have a calculator that's picky about it, so if you're using like an iPhone um, or like a phone calculator, you're not gonna be able to just type this in as is. You're gonna wanna start with your rate, so 0 0.055 divided by four plus one. Then you're gonna wanna take that to the 20th power. So you're gonna wanna use like either your caret or it might be x to the y, whatever your exponent button is. And then whatever number you get there, it should be one point something. You're gonna take that number times your 80,000. That will get you the total amount of money that you would be paying on that loan with the interest included. And I got $105,125.32. Like I said earlier, if you wanted to figure out how much of that was just the interest, you would go ahead and subtract the principal, which was $80,000, and that would get you how much you spent in interest over those five years. If you'd like to see another problem like this or maybe a problem where you have to solve for the interest rate or solve for the principal rather than the total, comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss my next one.